I see a system of equations and they mention B and C are constants. Here's our C, here's our B. They say the system has infinitely many solutions, which we already know what type of problem this is. If I can get them both in slope intercept form, I can set my coefficients equal. And with those equations, we can solve uh, for B and C here. Also to make it a little bit more familiar, I'm gonna go ahead and replace my P with X. And then we will replace the Q with Y. And now it's gonna be a little bit easier to get it in slope intercept form. So up above, I'm gonna add my five Y to the other side and I'm gonna kind of write it in reversed. So we have five Y. And then I'm gonna go ahead and subtract the nine X from the other one. So that's gonna leave us with six X on the other side. And then finally, since this is the side Y is on, C is gonna stay positive. And then we do have to subtract the 41 over. So this is gonna be my first linear equation here. And for our second one, uh, we already have 11y over here, so I'm going to go ahead and subtract the by over. So now we have 11y minus by, and that's going to be equal to the hundreds on the correct side minus the 24, that's going to be 76. Let's write that at the end. And then we do have positive 24x, so we have to subtract it to the other side, so that's going to be negative 24x. So we don't have to finish slope-intercept form. Remember, we just wanted them to look analogous. And while it would be really hard to get my y-intercepts or uh, the coefficient in front of y the same, look at our slopes. This is just missing a multiple of negative 4. So if I multiply this whole thing by negative 4, it's going to make a lot more sense in a second here. This becomes negative 20y is equal to negative 24x and then minus 4c and then plus... 164. So your whole goal is to get one of your terms to match, whether it's your coefficient in front of y, your slope, or your y-intercept, because now these are the same. We can cancel those out. I can say that my coefficients here, if you want to be technical, what I would, what I would do is I'm factoring the y out. So it's technically a coefficient of 11 minus b in front of our y. So our 11 minus b should be equal to negative 20, because they're both my y coefficient. So add b to the other side, sub, uh, add 20 to the other side, and you should get b is equal to 31 here. And then for our second one, a little bit more confusing, we get our y-intercepts equal to each other. So 76 is equal to negative 4c plus 164. I would add my 4c to the other side. I would subtract 76 from 164. You get 88. And then finally, divide that by 4, and you should get off to the side here, c is equal to 22. Finally, B plus C, 31 plus 22, and you should get a final answer of 53.